Hi, and welcome to the Amy Brown Science Learning Lab, where science is a cinch. I'm Amy Brown, and today we'll be learning about Gregor Mendel. First up, who was Gregor Mendel? Gregor Mendel is most famously known as the father of modern genetics. He was born in Austria in 1822 and was a bright and talented child. As he sought to further his academic studies in early adulthood, he studied to become a monk. It's important to know that at the time, monasteries were centers of culture and research. As such, Mendel was able to study math, physics, and botany at various universities and institutions. In his early 30s, Mendel began to perform research to discover how traits are inherited in plants. At the time, the prevailing incorrect belief was that traits inherited by offspring were simply a blend of traits inherited from the parents. Using his education in math, as well as rigorous experimentation over the course of nine years with tens of thousands of pea plant samples, Mendel proved this prevailing theory to be incorrect and established a few laws of genetics that we still rely on today. Mendel's findings can be described in three laws. Let's dive into the first law, the law of dominance. The law of dominance states that inherited factors can be dominant or recessive. If an individual has inherited both a dominant and recessive factor, they will only display the dominant trait. Let's look at an example. Let's say that purple is a dominant trait for a flower species and white is a recessive trait. Based on the law of dominance, we know that if the flower carries the dominant trait for color, it must be purple. If the flower is white, it only carries the recessive trait. Let's now talk about the second law, the law of segregation. The law of segregation states that inherited factors have an equal and random chance to be passed on to offspring. Using our previous flower example, this means that even if we know a purple flower must carry the dominant factor for purple, it may also carry the recessive factor for white, and each factor has an equal chance of being passed on to offspring. Finally, let's cover Mendel's third law, the law of independent assortment. The law of independent assortment states that traits are inherited independently of one another. For example, the color of a flower may be inherited separately from traits dictating height or leaf color, and each trait will have its own set of dominant and recessive characteristics independent of one another. While Mendel's work was groundbreaking, it took several decades after his death to be recognized as such. Even though Mendel was an extraordinary scientist, he was not the most exciting lecturer or author, and was not able to effectively publicize his exciting findings. Fortunately, his work was rediscovered after his death, cementing his place as the father of modern genetics. Thanks for watching the Amy Brown Science Learning Lab. Comment below to let me know what topic you'd like to see next. For more resources, take a look at the links below, and don't forget to subscribe!